You're a lot uh, angrier than Pat Maines from Alan Wake, huh? The other radio boy. Oh, there's the right one. Okay. Thank you. There we go. And there aren't any more. Okay, I thought there were maybe extra ones, but now we've got enough. Um. Increased power? No. Maybe increased size on the time stop? I think that sounds like a pretty decent idea. The time stop is useful, but that is my problem with it right now, is it just... I, I, I miss a lot because it doesn't really affect a big enough radius, and when you're in intense combat, you don't really have a, a, a huge amount of time to aim it. Right? So let's go ahead and let these bastards in. Is that another one? No, absolutely Working none. I'm going on without you. Fuck you. I actually can. Alright. Let's get rid of our friends. July 4th, 2010. The hell is this? I'm addressing this video to you. Is that Will? You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it. And the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone. Taken. Oh, shit. Safe. Empty. Just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. The video made it clear that he'd been working with Beth in the past. Made me wonder what else she was hiding. Let's try this again. Nope. Still not working? Nope. Well, in which case, all we have left to do is go let him in. And I guess we need to watch the video again, this time with Beth, huh? I wish I could be. Yeah, just hold on. <laughs> he says right to their face after letting him in. All right, let's take a look around. Down here. Is there I'll any other me. way I can go? I already did. No. Now how about you tell me how you know Will? I've never met your brother. Really? I find that hard to believe considering the video I just watched. What are you talking about, Jack? See for yourself. It's in the next room. Look at that. Just little it's changes long. depending on what you do Directed first. At me. July 4th, 2010. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it. And the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken, oh, shit. What the... Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. What was he talking about? Explain? He recorded that for me in 2010? What the fuck? He said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. I wonder if this milk survived the whole ordeal. I think it's still okay to drink, you know, being left out in an old dusty swimming pool for the last, what, nine years? Well, six years? It's 2016, right? Something like that. Uh, well, don't think we need anything other than the milk. Where are you taking us, Beth? Well, I don't think you'll be Help able to knock that down. Really? With that str- you don't- uh, you don't want Nick to try with me? Yeah, uh, Nick, you are the li- Chivalry is dead. Right, do I have to spam anything? <clears throat> No, nope, we're just gonna keep ramming Jack, into it. Your brother is just <laughs> this is such an awkward way to have a conversation. But I've never met him before in my life. 
Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish. But he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. Let's do this! <clears throat> hey, fuck you, wardrobe! I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who- Never again will I be stuck in the closet. Right, let's get out of here. Hmm. What a weird setting for this, just pool showers. What if I don't want that on her? What if I just want to find whatever I'm missing through here? Which might be a lot, it's seemingly massive. Why are you giving me all this area to fuck with? It doesn't seem like there's going to be any enemies. Like, we've got a we lot go. of the, you know, pickups and... We haven't even fought yet, and I don't have access to my guns. Is that all there is here? Fair enough. Let's give it a hit. Not that we know what it is or where it's leading us. Hell, we don't even really know what the countermeasure is, do we? Is that? Yeah, I think so. He built another one, maybe? Oh, Second time machine. man. This changes everything. I could go back and get even more powerful. Or maybe save my brother. But mo get mostly get more powerful. We need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first oh, place? We can go back to yesterday. Undo everything in the past yeah. before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. That's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I helped them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. But Paul can see the future, so surely he would have foresaw this. But you're right. We'll need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. Let's actually start with reading absolutely everything. Oh, <laughs> oh buddy. Um, I saw oh, that's way too long for me to read. Workshop. You must have hit it here. What is this? A goddamn Whoa. spaceship? So we've seen the countermeasure before. Core controls. Where are they? Well, they're unnecessary right the now. The schematics aren't they? for the countermeasure spanned 11 years, 1999 to 2010. In itself, that wasn't strange. But the guy built a working time machine in two. These schematics are all in Will's writing. He did all of this. <laughs> that was stick, Maddie Drew. Built everything. Monarch was made aware of its existence On his own. shortly after it was completed. In 1999. He finished this 1999. one in 1999. Oh, did he do this one on his own? No, uh, only about our parents sense, dying. Oh, I was underage in 99. Okay, so we can't be very old. Maybe like early 30s. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and turn this into our own power. As I imagine, this is going to be the end of, uh... The end of this act, right? And we're going to need ourselves some... TV after this. I guess it's going to give us another um, episode, but th that means we're also going to have to switch up to Paul, right? To Papa Serene. Which is worrying, because I don't want to make another fucking harrowing choice. A civilian's guide to time travel. Funny. Okay. Um, oh, we've got 9-11 narrative objects. That's actually really useful. Well done, buddy. I didn't expect you to do anything good. How have I not been over there? I like to get all the narrative objects just because I think it unlocks some diary Will entries. Will received the massive research grant in 1997. He'd successfully built the time machine by 1999. But the wow. results scared him. He never told a soul. What a badass, man. Okay. Gotta figure out where to start. Well, there I already found what we were looking for. I think I already did. This is not what we want to do, is it? Needs to be reset. Okay. <laughs> it comes up in friggin' ASCII art. Like 
round thing in the middle. Think. What can I do with this? I can't activate the core till it's reset. Maybe I can jump in from here? Hell, the hell is maybe I even have to. It's all built out of wood, mostly. Well, surely Paul has seen it, right? He can see everything. From what we know. Maybe it's flawed. Maybe it's limited to what he can see. Who knows? But at least I've found my way in now. And imagine if that's what kills me. <laughs> at least full damage isn't horrific in this you game. You will build a countermeasure. What makes you so sure this isn't it? The time machine. We, we literally saw it in the schematics, you, you the idiot. The was stolen. The machine is still here. Hey. All right, fair enough. It looks like I can reset the core from here. Are you sure you know what you're doing there? Absolutely no not. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. <laughs> Shut up. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. Hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will leading us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. Okay. So I imagine that. Nick, you step away, you bastard! Oh, yeah, we could probably go back in time and we'll see, see where it setting. was placed. Is it this one first? The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. I think the control doohickey's right here. Yeah, I here just tried, nothing. didn't I? Oh, apparently I wasn't ready for it just then. Here we go! Nothing's happening! The sound, but nothing seems to be sort of whirring. Oh, but it works! It's fine. Maybe I can turn Nick into a time hero as well. It worked. It actually worked. Let's do this. Okay. We activate the corridor. I can't insert the date yet. Oh, Jesus. Where the hell is the corridor? Do I have to just hit it up again? Oh, I think I did it in the wrong order and it got sad. Thing, huh? Jesus, look at this thing. One guy built all that? No way that's possible, man. It took me five months to build a shitty birdhouse. <laughs> I'll bet a lot of guys got paid under the table to get this thing running. Don't damn Core. conspiracy theorists. Let's do it. Activated. Will's key. Oh, what? It's a little shed key looking thing like that is what makes this run. Amazing. Oh, God. Whoa, did you guys see that? God, it's like a slaughterhouse, like meat hooks going along. Dude, this is insane. <laughs> Genius. That's my brother in a nutshell. Now, th not this, or is it this? Next, I guess, is this one here, right? Fuck. Let's just hope it still works. This was the final step. I need to set up the machine first. Set the date, that's what I'm trying! There we go, it lost. No, 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 no. What? God damn it. I don't know. Maybe don't punch it! We were so close. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened, something's wrong with the machine. Well, we don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't. know I'm right. Stop, I'm trying. You lost people, you're angry, I get it. This is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know someone who can. who can. Sophia Amaral. But she is Honestly. not on our side in any Sorry, way. <laughs> Unless she's keeping Paul sick. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. Well, that was easy. Gonna miss all my guns, though.
<laughs> now that is some weird friggin' music to put at the end of that. And it's almost definitely licensed, so let's talk over it and maybe skip that, because I don't know why it ever even does that shit. Let's go. Time to take over as Paul? I'm guessing so. Junction 2, business or person? The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left... Oh, had okay, that's why he can't predict shit. Since then are the plan and oh, no, the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that. But I didn't know why, exactly. Or how it would end. So he's sort of masquerading as an all-seeing god. You are right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? Does sound unlikely. Still... We know it's out there somewhere, and we don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. If Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Wait, so now I'm gonna play as the antagonist talking to the protagonist. Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to this. This is question. insane. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who can win them over. Well, I can assure you, you're choice, not. So you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. Dr. Sophia Amaral had taken over our Cronon research department after Dr. Kim's accident. We're aware. She was the only one who could treat the Cronon syndrome. So I guess you've been treated since then, huh? I want to take a look outside and look how beautiful the island is. Oh man, you actually can see a Mr. little bit. Is waiting for us down huh. I know, but I want to explore our little house, buddy. Are we living here together? Are we gay lovers? I hope we're gay lovers. That'll make me feel a lot better about this man. Um, no, what the hell was the face he just had on there? And I guess I could have just walked outside to see it a little more, huh? Hey, Joycey. Hmm. Seems like I can walk over to that car. Weird, why? I don't know, but I can look at this too. What are doing here? We should be set up by now. It's all on schedule. You're micromanaging again. Don't even twitch. We almost we are definitely go. gay lovers. We're acting like an old married couple. Now, I'd like to... Wait, where where are and we going? here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? Well, can't I just go and look at my car? Let's see. Yeah, apparently I can. I'm just allowed to walk away. Just thinking about a road trip I took a long time ago. In a car far less comfortable than this. Let's focus on the issue at hand. <laughs> he thinks I've gone utterly insane. Which I have. Um, yeah, please, out of my way, Martin. So. Paul. What should we do about Joyce? Well, what are my options? Well, his options. I don't particularly want to be this guy. I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. Well, if I let Hatch deal with him, Joyce will potentially kill Hatch. And I like Hatch. He's very cool. So, um, well, he's an arsehole, but I'd like him as a character. Let's look at business first, because I'm probably less likely to choose that. Comes miscalculation, and as you and I are aware, Mr. George, with miscalculation can often come a catastrophe. And that leaves me... with you, Mr. Joyce. But my old friend would be a lost cause. Dead and buried, along with the rest of my past. 
Tonight is a celebration. A celebration You're saying Jack would die? Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. Oh. Up into the past. I tried to change things. Answer me this question, Bob. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. Well... So someone tries to shoot at him, but that means Martin's more likely to die here! Maybe he dies no matter what, because I mean, Joyce would kill him, or a random shooter would kill him. That's what it's seeming like, which is a shame. And I really do want to flesh out the relationship between Paul and... Jack. <sighs> I'm... Th if I'm role-playing, I think... Serene would probably do business, but I'm I'm very much intrigued by him and Jack. So let's 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 go personal. Martin, I'm afraid you're going to have to cover for me at the speech tonight. All right. Jack and I have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. I really love that actor. He's in a lot of things that I've seen, and he's always great. But I can't remember his name. That's for Martin. Obviously, I know the other two. Or at least I know that dude's name is Gillen, but can't remember his first name, so whatever. I've seen where this leads. I've been to the end of time, and I've escaped it. All the way to 1999, when it all started. I've tried to change things. But by trying, I only made them happen in the first place. Oh, damn! I see! Oh! 53% of the community agree with my choice. That's interesting. What a split decision. I do like it. It's all black and white. It's very, very cool. There's, I mean, it's absolutely not black and white is what I meant. The complete opposite of what I said. But yeah, it's, uh, it's freaking great. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's uh, let's continue. And here we go with the next Time episode. Is breaking down. Monarch has been preparing for it. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Mark. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. You're not thinking clearly. You need to true it. You gonna go? Me? Go to a party. We can roll together if you want. What do you want? Anyone who might implicate Monarch. Fuck you. Hmm. Wait! We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. Find him. Step away! Right now! Liam, this isn't what it looks like. No. No! He's gone! We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Left it on quite the cliffhanger, huh? Episode 2, Prisoner. Now I'm probably gonna uh, shut up now and let you guys enjoy. I'm only chiming in when I feel like it's necessary, if it's necessary. Effectiveness. They're fine. No. 
I need to work on something new. You should enjoy yourself tonight. You work too much as it is. I've been running tests on the temporal anomalies. I think it could be happening sooner than we... I've seen when it happens. At least consider that maybe you misinterpreted something. Jack knows where William's machine is. I have to go talk to him. Martin can handle my speech. Martin. Sophia. Thank you. some internal affairs. Internal mm -hmm. affairs. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just gonna leave me hanging? Well, yeah, it's internal. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> okay. 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 I helped catch a traitor today. Traitor? Is that what all that commotion was about? Yeah. Okay. That was me. Who was it? I mean, hmm? Who was it? <laughs> Who's the... Who, who was it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't... I can't... Uh, what? I am not at liberty to discuss this. Well, you just brought it up. It's like, uh, well, monarch drama. <laughs> yeah. What? Well, I guess, I guess I'm just gonna have to leave you hanging on that one. For real. This time. Well, I just thought maybe you'd wanna share it with me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use the restroom, so... You hang in here, for real. Okay. Go mingle. Yeah. Drink okay. a little. Okay. Yeah. Um. Thanks for the gun. Dr. Ramro? Martin, I need your help. He listens to you. Paul. Is that so? I think we're in trouble, and he doesn't see it. He refuses to. I can't imagine why. I know you and I haven't always seen eye to eye, but I know you care about Monarch. You care about what happens. And if we are reaching zero state, something has to be done. And what is it we could do? You know what we could do. Truth is, Sophia, it's not really a matter of whether or not Paul will listen to me. It's that I won't listen to you. I find your approach to matters rather counterproductive. Filling Paul's head with your constant alarmism, distracting him with petty doomsday scenarios. I mean, if I'm being honest, 
I rule the day he gave you a modicum of function in this company. Because you said, I care about Monarch. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to prepare for my speech. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? We have control of the presentation. Make it look good. Hey, you're Crocker, right? Hey, Crocker! Crocker! Really need to take a shit. Fuck, come on, Croc. Crocker. Crocker! Come on, Crocker! Good choice, yeah. but I'm gonna have to go with Ryan Gosling down there talking with George Clooney, wearing his nice cufflinks, chatting about stocks. Yeah. Richard, where the hell have you been? Didn't have my invitation. Oh my god, you're always losing things. I'm not losing anything. Ooh, drama. Yeah. Wow. Uh oh. She's going for it. No. Bam. No. Told you. Why am I losing you so bad? I don't think I can drink. drink. I don't think no, I can. No, rules are rules. Rules are rules. Rules are fucking rules. You owe me another sword. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm doing it. Oh, I actually hate all of this. You can do it, my man. You Thanks for the it. encouragement. <laughs> Thank you. I just wish I wasn't losing so bad. Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm lady. Taking the door. I'm taking mine too. Crocker, 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 Crocker. Hey, buddy. Crocker! Crocker! Burke! Crocker! Hey, buddy, hey, 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 hey. Burke, hey, hey. listen. If I have to come in there, you're gonna fucking regret it. Listen, this is just a big misfucking understanding. I'm gonna be out tomorrow. Oh, wouldn't a good word for you? I will help you climb this ladder. All I'm asking is please let me take a fucking shit. Go to the back wall. Oh, fuck, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Thank you. Shut up. Back up slowly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't really excited about going in the first place. Okay, why'd you go? Because somebody twisted my arm. Who the fuck is that? Kind of looks like a dinosaur yeah. wearing a helmet. No way! Yeah, 
That's exactly what Oh my god, we did that! Oh, so it reminds me of Charlie Day. I just realized who it reminds me of. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. All right. So what would you have been doing tonight if we didn't go? What, if I hadn't gone to the party with you? Yeah. Well, I would have canceled all my other really important plans. Ah. Uh, and then I would have gone back to work. I think maybe you worked a little too much. Yes. But I... Against it. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I, I, it doesn't feel like work. You know? I like being wired in. Yeah. Makes me feel connected. You work all the time. In fact, you're there most of the time I'm there. So, don't you think you work too much? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm there. I guess. Yeah. Love work. Hold oh, it right shit. there! Shit! You little fuck! Hey, hey, what? All you had to do was let me in that perimeter lab. You turned on Monarch. What was I supposed to do? You have no idea what's going on, do you? I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. You work with Beth Wilder. I've seen you before. You know her? She's the reason I'm here. Gun still necessary? <sighs> yeah. Come on, hurry up. You're a very kind person. Right up here. Oh, right. You, I got it, guys. I got it. I guess you guys can't do this. It's a special talent I have. I'm glad it's so celebrated. <laughs>
the second machine. Where is it? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I've been to the past. I've tried to change things. Undo mistakes. Only to find there's no changing the inevitable. Time is just one closed loop. No matter what I do, you and I, we always end up here. And no matter what I do, time ends. I think you've lost your fucking mind. My mind is intact, I assure you. The memory, however... It's stretched. Like... You've seen too much. All of it blending into one. Apart from the few fragments of memories. One in particular. You and I, 11 or 12 years old, when we found that vagrant, you remember? And when I arrived at the past, that was the first thing I tried to change. I went to the roof, I tried to talk him down, but my presence startled him and he fell, same as before. Anything I try to change, it just triggers the same event. We keep seeing that body. Because we were meant to. I'm not turning my back on the human race. But at this point, they're a necessary sacrifice. Is that what Will was? Necessary sacrifice. Will refused to believe the inevitability of what was coming. And he became an obstacle. Answer me this question, Paul. In everything you've seen, do I stop before you're dead? to cooperate I'll be here who was he he was my mentor from uh, college and then here to Monarch. I was in uh, a bad place and he kind of turned me around. Got it. Sort of. I mean, it's, it's a ghost file. It's from then a mass deletion. Somebody was here. We got um, Cronin Field Regulator. Wait, hold on. Holy shit, this is Dr. Amaral's report. What is it? The stutters, they're... they're increasing in frequency. What's a stutter? The more frequent the stutters, the more indicative of a fracture. Okay, and what's a fracture? Of time. Zero state, it stops, and it doesn't start back up. And the LiPo protocol could save us. I have no idea. But the, the Cronon field regulator, it is the core of Monarch's time tech. Everything is based upon it. And it, it has something to do with the lifeboat. We have to go. Wait. No, 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 no! This way, this way! Turn! No, 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 don't, don't, don't! You'll end up like her. Fiona! 
The lab is stutterproof. Stay here. Stutter, where are you going? The Recordon harness is up here. We need them. Two, that was amazing that was higher quality than a hell of a lot of tv shows that come out these days i can't believe how good this is i am really really enjoying this the revelation that it's dr kim oh man the wine and cheese crowd huh? what the fuck kind of name is that God. for an act you took quite a risk walking into the lion's den if we were gonna kidnap i'm surprised dr. we didn't get to hear the uh do it from the inside speech Beth wilder you were quick to trust her. We had common interests. Is that all you had? It's all we needed. Well, I was starting to think seeing a pretty lady like you is too much to hope for. Why don't you keep your mouth shut while we get some privacy before we begin? Okay. How about you get me out of this chair? Ah, uh, uh, uh. Stop squirming. And you're gonna need this. 